right, good morning, good morning, good morning. We are here in Stanford, North Carolina at Cormark. Um, if you ever come here, most likely your GPS uh, directions using Google are going to put you on the other side of the highway. Uh, so just look up Cormark for Stanford, North Carolina, and uh, you should be good to go. So this is where I was supposed to be. Well, this is where I was technically yesterday <laughs> before I uh, figured out that I was in the wrong place and Google navi getting there, yeah, navigated me past my first stop here. So I'm going to um, go in there and uh, check in and everything. So all right, here goes nothing. Oh, some glass. First ring bell to the far right. Hey, how's it going? Good. There's only one copy of the BOL there, so I guess if you have to, just make a copy of it. So. Yep. What's your name? Kevin. Last name? Yes, ma'am. Phone number? Uh, 1010. Any symptoms of COVID? No, no. no. Do you have close toe shoes on? Yes, ma'am. Do you know where to go? No, I've never been here before. Okay. I'll come around and show you, okay? Yep. This mine will drop. Huh? It's alive, it's yeah. It's alive. alive. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Okay, All you're right. going to turn left before you get to that blue door down there. All right. There's another door in the far left hand corner. That's the cooler freezer. You'll see Jason. Okay? Jason? Yep, no problem. Thanks. Close the first. Jason? Jason? Yep. Yeah, he just wanted to let you. You see the truck out there. He's just sitting out there. Oh. <laughs> She made a copy of this or not, but there's only one BOL, so. Yeah, I'll All go right. To the front, front All right. Now you said C5. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Well, that works out good for me. I'm going to have to uh, edit out some of my uh, personal information there, but. Whatever. Uh, 
Now, one, one weird thing is the lady asked me if, uh, if I have any COVID system, s symptoms. I haven't had anybody ask about COVID probably in almost a year now. You know, they still got all the signs and crap up, but. Oh, man. Take the seal off. Good, nothing fell over. Good. Because I was afraid about that top pallet up there all by itself. Do, do, do. Any day now you can fall. There we go. I'm gonna move the. And now I'll leave the pans alone. They're back far enough. Spin this truck around and uh, back in on in here. Let's, uh, let's spin her around. I want C5 right there, so. We're just gonna, I guess, pull straight here and turn to the right here. And if I did this right, I should be lined right up with the dock. Do, 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 do. Man, I've been delivered to a core mark in a hell of a long time. We'll put my uh, my flashers on so people know I'm backing up. Because believe it or not, just because your doors are open doesn't mean nothing anymore. There ain't nobody flying through here anyway. This is like a Walmart or CNC Foods or some large distribution center. And then you got to worry about guys like, I don't know, they're off on cloud nine or whatnot. Let's see, where's everyone else's trailer at? Well, his is right, that trailer's right on the line, so I'll slide it right up on the line then. That wheel's on the line there, almost on the line. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, some of these places you gotta check where the trailers part, where the guys part next to you, where their tires are at, because sometimes these lines aren't exactly set up in the middle of the uh, the door. Now this thing's an automatic. It's a pain in the butt. To, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. It's not as bad as they used to be, but. Come on, quit bouncing off the wall. There we go. But it's uh, still a little bit of the pain in the butt to uh, back up without smacking into the wall, especially if you're on a hill, so. Uh, there we go, she's got my number. So I guess they'll call me. Um, if you heard him there, uh, he said that they're gonna have a meeting here soon. So we'll see how this goes. Because, like I said, um, you know, we're going to probably take my 10-hour break either halfway there or not. So, I'm going to end up shooting over here into the bunk. Uh, plus, I'm having some problems with the camera. I don't know if it's because I'm leaving the app or if it's overheating. This little camera gets really hot and, and will overheat. Uh, I mean, it's not even sunny and it's, it's what, like 60 degrees? So, well, well, we'll see how long this goes. If this camera keeps overheating on me and giving me problems, I might... I might just take it back and get another DJI Osmo. The only thing though, like I said, I like about the Instant Go To is, well, you'll see the footage. Nobody nobody even knew us, noticed I had a camera. All right, we just got our paperwork back and we're gonna get out of here. Uh, if you, Hopefully this camera keeps holding up because it keeps overheating and 
I don't know why the battery doesn't seem like it's charging. I'm wondering if the battery's bad and it's it's discharging or or whatnot. And it's it's heat it's like getting red hot too. So hopefully this little camera doesn't catch fire on me. I, that would be really uh, it'd be a real shame, especially if it's while it's sitting in front of my face. Uh, we're gonna pull out, shut the reefer off, close the doors, and get going to Monroe, North Carolina here to go pick up. Well, actually, I should see see first if the load's even ready because I don't want to get there and sit around there first. I'd like to sit around somewhere nice that, you know, I can eat at or do something. Door, it's raining. Oh, we'll leave the panels there. I'll see how bad this thing is, whether or not I have to find somewhere to try to wash it out. Uh, yeah, it could, it could use a washout. So I guess that's what we'll do next. Find a washout. That's if there is anywhere nearby. I mean, it ain't the worst looking trailer but that little camera that insta go to keeps overheating or the battery's already dead which i don't know how it's been sitting in the, the case you know when it was recording me on the dash it was sitting in the case so i'd imagine it pulls pulls battery from the case to to work so i don't know we're, we're like i said we're gonna be getting out of here and going over to monroe uh, you know, the part that you'll see is me probably just closing the door before it shuts off. Which, it, I don't know how, what I'm going to do about that because it's not really that unreliable. Uh, you know, sure, it's great. I'll be able to get some POV shots of me walking around and stuff. But if it only lasts five or ten minutes and shuts down or catches on fire or just stops recording it either you know you can't really tell uh, unless you look at the app you know why it's connected to the phone uh, if it's recording or, or what's it's you know what it's doing so because it's a pill you know it doesn't have no screen on the front and you know there's things that once you record you, you know you, you miss out you know you can't do over again it's like one and done um, so I'm gonna uh, pull out of the gate here, and you know, that way I'm not taking our yard up. I'm gonna pull out the gate here, stop, fill out my paperwork and everything, and send it in, and get paid for this load. So now, before I get out of here, I want I want to call out Core Mark here. At least the Core Mark here in um, where am I at here? Stanford. Uh, actually, I want to call out both of these, the uh, Fierro Foods and the Cormark in Stanford, uh, North Carolina. So if you look on the paperwork here, I was at uh, Fierro Foods here probably about maybe two hours at, at least, and they put subject to load count on it. Also, Cormark here, I was here, let's see, I pulled in here at 7 about 7 15 ish 7 10 uh probably didn't get to the door about 7 30 and it's 8 30 now and i'm already already out of the facility and taking you know gonna try and slow my paperwork in same thing subject to load count so they they didn't count the load they just unloaded me you know maybe fierro might have or Fierro Foods or Fierro Foods or whatnot. They might have counted me or, or at least looked over some of the stuff. Like I said, I was there for almost two hours. But that's the way it should go. You should be in and out in two hours. Not not none of this. Uh, we take six hours to, you know, or three and a half hours to actually get into your trailer. And maybe we'll spend next three hours kind of haphazardly unloading you. And then we'll spend three hours 
you know, load counting, and then we'll spend two hours getting you the paperwork. Yeah, none, none of that bull crap. This, this was in and out, in and out. I'm, I've wasted, what, three hours tops of my time being unloaded. So that's that's the way it should be. None, none of this eight to 10 hour bull crap. So I just figured I'd call it out real quick. And, uh, you know, thank Ferraro Foods or whatever it is, and Cormark here, at least the one in Stanford, for running an efficient facility.